Hello, and uh, here we are. Everything seems to be working. Welcome to the webinar for Wednesday, the 3rd of November. My name is Matt Wiles. I'm the operations manager and marketing manager here at InfoServe. And I'm joined today, and I can hear him, by Darren Dale. Darren, you want to come on video and say hi? Got to click the buttons. You've got the camera button and the mic mute button down. Just click one of those and you should be able to. It definitely was working, guys. He came on a few seconds ago. So we'll wait for Darren. We'll wait for him. Click the button, Darren. <laughs> He'll be coming back. He's left. He's coming back. I think it must be his video. Here he is. Here he is. So it's just buffering. It's just getting warmed up. Hello. Hello, Darren. Can you hear me okay? Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, all good, all good. A little bit fuzzy your end, but don't worry, it should settle down and uh, we'll be able to do this just fine. I think everything's working okay. Just checking all the different systems, all the settings here. But yeah, I'm really pleased to welcome Darren to today's webinar. Darren is a senior account manager here at InfoServe and he has tons of experience. And he's one of those guys that loves talking to all you small business owners, medium-sized business owners, interacting with you, helping you, giving advice, giving tips. He absolutely loves it. He lives for it. And so I'm going to let him introduce himself. Darren, do you want to give a bit of an insight as to who you are, your background, your experience, and what you're going to bring to today? Yeah. Hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Darren. Um, I've been with the company for the last 13 years. Um and my background or my expertise is within digital marketing, dealing with SMBs, uh, like everybody that's in this group today. Um, and I really enjoy getting businesses off the ground or businesses that have been on a plateau, getting them excelling again. So look forward to uh, hopefully giving you all some help. Good, good stuff. Well, thanks for joining us, Darren. And for everyone that's joined us today, thank you for registering again. I know it was a bit of a pain to go through that process again. Um, the few email issues, I even noticed an issue today where there was a, a duplicate email, but it should be sorted now. Um, the old webinar has been fully removed, um, so you won't get any emails for that one anymore. But this new one, um, every Wednesday, same time, 11 a.m., and I think we're all set now for good. This is every week. It should be just coming through to your inbox every week. You'll get a reminder and uh, it looks all good to me. So we're all set now and we'll be taking this through all the way through December. We've got some really critical bits and bobs we want to go through with you uh, leading up to Christmas. Dare I say it, it is upon us and some key things that you need to be doing this year um, that's slightly different to last year. So we'll be going through that next week and the week after. But for today, um, Darren, let me know if it's okay. But you should be able to see my screen, multi-channel marketing, get ahead of your competition. Yeah. Yeah. You, can you see my screen? Yes, I can. Yes. All right, so there we go. It's all about getting ahead of the competition. So let's dive straight in because what this does is help you differentiate yourself, differentiate yourself sorry, from your competition. You've got people out there, the uh, competitors down the road, they're doing Facebook, you're doing search. Um, and uh, what we need to do is make sure that you're found more times than your competition. So consumers are everywhere, aren't they? They're using all these different channels. And so it's really essential that you're the one that's getting seen the most ahead of the competition. So um, this, we've done it before with many clients. Um, Darren, actually, Darren is the guy that does this. He's the guy that works with clients in our company, um, sets up this multi-channel marketing for his various clients and businesses that he works with. And Darren, um, well, well, I'm going to go through what is multi-channel marketing, but just before we do, this really does work, doesn't it? And you've had some amazing results where this is, you know, you've implemented this. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the, the phrase, don't put all your eggs in one basket comes to mind. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. So everybody, this is a very interactive session today and it's shorter, but in a good way. We're going to be coming away from the presentation very soon and we're going to go into an interactive style webinar and we'd like you to drop your website URL, the website address into the chat now or over the next few minutes if you'd like Darren and myself to look at your multi-channel marketing and we'll be looking at your website. 
and take advantage of it now because Darren will rarely be on these webinars. He's a very busy man. So Darren's going to be going through your multi-channel marketing. Um, obviously, it's all free advice. We're just here to help you. Um, but the first question is, is what is multi-channel marketing? Quite simple, being seen in lots of places at once. As Darren said, don't put your eggs all in one basket. Okay. So we've talked about this before um, last year. We called it the consumer journey. Um, what we were looking at is uh, that journey from assist to last interaction. So people go through a journey where they're researching or they've just seen an ad or they've seen your website or they've seen you on social media. And then they're considering whether they should use you or your competition. And, and there's a lot of research and consideration before there's any intent and so it's this journey that people go on and we're trying to get touch points covered. So we're trying to get you found along that journey, basically. So um, I showed you this in previous webinars. This is Google's consumer journey. Um, you may not be able to see it clearly on screen. That's OK. It's just an example graphic to show the different uh, touch points, the examples of what people go through. So some people start on Google or Bing, obviously, a very popular search engine, and they'll do a search, and then they'll dive over to your social media at a different time. Then they'll be looking at a display ad, and then they'll be talking to their friends, etc. So there's a huge consumer journey, and the stuff on the left-hand side of that consumer journey play an early assisting role. Um, so what Darren and I are going to look at is what are those things, where are you found, um, um, and how are they assisting the role of the sale? Because when it gets to the right, basically when it gets further along the journey, those last touch points are the, more likely to be the last interaction before the purchase. Right, Darren? So I just want to get your opinion. So Darren, just as we're going through this little bit of presentation early on here, before we get to the interactive session, um, this bit here, you, you asked me to include this actually in the webinar. Why, why, why did you ask me to put this in? Because I know this is important for, for small business owners. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's really important just to sit down at some point and have a look at what you've got. Okay, so I've got a website. Okay, so where are you getting that website found or where is it visible online? And it's really important that you look at that because there's so many opportunities and opportunities that don't even cost that, that I'm willing to share with you today. Yeah. Exactly. It's, they don't even cost. It, it's, it's all just could be done today, tomorrow. Um, but it's, a, it's a, yeah, this, basically, we're going to look at all the different touch points. And when it's really important to know that when you get to that kind of end of that journey. So on the right hand side here, like I said, those are the last interactions before the purchase. So, um, for example, um, Google your business name. How do, how do you look on Google when you Google your business name? Remember, we talked about that maybe last year. Is your brand represented well on Google? Because that's usually the last interaction. So, Darren, what is multi-channel marketing? Well, multi-channel marketing is all digital marketing, by the way, guys. Digital marketing. So we're not talking about TV, radio. That's all, that's not digital. and We're not focusing on that today. Um, but what multi-channel marketing is all about being where your customers are. So you need to be found basically where your customers are. Darren, customers, consumers, they're looking in all, they're on all different platforms, aren't they? Do you want to just, I think you had something to say on this point. Um, I could relate this to an experience of myself actually. So um, roughly uh, a couple of years ago, I was kind of toying on the idea of going on a holiday. Um, and I think I was watching a YouTube video and up came a video for uh, a certain place uh, abroad. And I actually booked off the back of that. <laughs> so the intent was there already from me. I just didn't know what I wanted. And I watched a small YouTube clip and bam, that was it, booked. So that was that was YouTube. Okay, so YouTube, actually, we've, we've not talked about YouTube in our webinars very often. So that's a very good point. So your I take it you use YouTube. I, I actually don't know, but do you use YouTube a lot? Is that something you're on? Often? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, I like to research places. I hope that people in here can relate to this. But before I go somewhere, I tend to research. So I know the best restaurants, the the the, the best excursion places. Um, even if it comes to just to, to news as well, that's where I tend to go because they're just snippets. I just want to see snippets of stuff. 
Mm. Um, and in turn, with the snippet comes a lot of advertising, unless you do pay the additional £13 a month, I think it is, which I'm not prepared to do. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, most people don't do that. So most people are just getting all those ads, um, which is which is where you saw an ad for that uh, destination. I think the key point here is that uh, everybody's different. And um, quite often, Darren and I see um, business owners uh, making uh, decisions of, OK, well, I'll just do a Google search campaign, you know, or I'll just do a Facebook ads campaign. And that's my marketing. You know, that's my, that's my budget. I'm just going to run a Facebook ads campaign. That's a mistake, isn't it, Darren? I think when when people are putting all the eggs in one basket um, and uh, these things that we're talking about today can be done for free. So we're going to talk. We're going to show you a couple of ideas that you could do, um, one of which is going on to uh, Facebook groups, for example, you know, answering questions there. So we'll come back to that. But YouTube ads. Yeah, absolutely. YouTube ads. It's very cheap as well. YouTube um, ads. They are very low cost because it's not the obvious platform that people would business owners like yourselves would go to YouTube um, to do advertising. So the cost per click is, is quite low. Um, but what we're saying here is every consumer, every person, Person is doing something different and if you just do a google ads campaign or if you're just doing search engine optimization you're missing out on, on you know the way that people behave now uh you know being that they might be on facebook might be on youtube they might be on tripad trip advisor for example uh facebook groups um so what we want to know from everyone in in here today is please tell us where you are visible now so in the chat, and Darren, I think you can see the chat. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> there you are. So in the chat, I mean, we, we get a hell of a lot of people watching this on recording. But in the chat, guys, what I want you to do is, like I say, put your URL in there. But um, if anyone's uh, daring enough in chat to say, hey, um, I want to come on the webinar, we can get you on the webinar today live. So your video, your microphone, you'll be on the webinar with us. And we want to tell us... Um, where you are visible now, what kind of avenues, you're, what channels are you using for your marketing, digital marketing? So tell us. If you don't want to come on the webinar, that's okay. Just put it in the chat. Which channels, where are you visible now? So every business owner in here, um, we have, everyone's, a lot of people are shy, Darren, so people don't answer us. I just wanted to say hello to Andrew, by the way. I noticed Andrew popped up, so um, I've been dealing with Andrew. It's nice to see you here. Nice to see you, Andrew. Yeah, and I'm sure there's a few people I recognize in here. Um, I'll check on the chat in a minute, but hello, everyone. But yeah, check, tell us where you are visible now. Put it in the chat. Give us a list. There's bullet points. You know, tell us where you're visible. And if you're daring enough, if you're daring enough, you can come on the webinar. All you need to do is request to speak. There's a request to speak button, guys, if you want to come on this webinar. Um, so let us know. Uh, so I'll come back to that, Darren. I'll check on that in a few seconds. Um, you need to reach these consumers multiple times. Reaching people once or twice is not effective enough. You need to be reaching them multiple times, so therefore appearing in multiple channels. This is what the multi-channel digital marketing approach is. It's it's being where your customers are, every different type of customer, by the way, and it's reaching them multiple times. So uh, five, six, seven times, Facebook, YouTube, uh, groups, um, chat rooms, blogs, the list goes on. Aaron, multi-channel marketing, though, uh, in your experience, why is it so effective and what, what has been the results? So what yeah. what would you say for that? Trust, trust being the first thing. Uh, the more places that you're visible and the more times people can see you, that, that's going to create more trust. Um, Obviously, getting ahead of your competition. Um, again, there's plenty of free places that your competition today wouldn't even be thinking about um, going on to and adding content. Um, and that's obviously where we can come in and help, help you do that. I see. Uh, amplifying your company's frequency and reach. Again, just it's pretty obvious. The more places that you are, the more times your company is going to see or be seen online. Yeah. Um, increase your consumer engagement and conversion rates. Yeah, um, again, it's all linking back to the first point, I believe, which is trust and brand. Um, if you become the main brand in your area, in turn, that's going to it's going to increase your conversion rate. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it goes back to that frequency. More times people see you, the more times people start believing in you and trusting you and you get the credibility. It's frequency, guys. And so don't rely on one channel, one or two channels. Um, 
I, I would, you know, happily admit uh, most of our clients, a lot of our smaller clients, you know, we work with um, do just rely on one or two channels. And it's usually because of budgets and things like that. Um, but we you know, frantically try and help as much as we can. But one thing, uh, the reason why we're doing these webinars is because there's so many other channels that you can do for free, that you can do yourself. And that's what Darren's saying is you shouldn't just rely on those one or two channels. Um doing this takes a bit of effort yeah we agree it takes a bit of work you know this will take a couple of hours for you to do but it really you know darren's seen it and, and i see it uh, with his clients they, once you touch on get it found in these different platforms you know you're in groups you're in facebook channels youtube the conversion rates are just you know they, they do really fly through the roof don't they darren and one of the things that you help business owners with and you've had some great success with is this and it's um, one of the things that we wanted to just give a little tip today. Um, if there's one thing to take away, it could be this. And it's answering questions in groups. Um, so, Darren, do you want to just elaborate on this? Because I think this is a good one. Yeah. So I mentioned earlier that I like YouTube. Um, other people like to read um, blogs. Some people like to read forums or a part of forums like Reddit, Quora, um, Hitched. For, I did see there was a photographer in here today. Um Hitched would be really relevant to you. So on Hitched, you will normally get brides that would be searched on there. Does anyone know um, a really good wedding photographer, for instance, in London? Because London's the first thing that I can see on the screen. Uh, and in turn, there'll be plenty of recommendations on there. Um, you may be using that, you may not be, um, but I do think that you should do that today. Okay. Yeah, great. It's 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 all about, you know, you can Google this stuff. Um, we were looking at like, uh, you know, we've got here an example is what is the best place for dental implants in London. So people go to these forums. Quora is a really popular one, isn't it, Darren? And yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's absolutely huge. And we do see business owners coming in here and answering questions. Really, really effective. Um, so, Dan, where would I start if I'm a small business owner today? Um, yeah. What would you recommend? So, let's say I've got um, I'm doing my search engine optimization. I know that I've got a bit of website optimization going on there. I do a bit on Facebook as well. But th with this, what, what, where do I start? What do I do? Okay, so you need to understand what it is that you do. Um, I'll relate this back to me. I had an events company, um, so I knew that my target audience would tend to be through uh, Facebook that would be asking for my services. So I'd go onto Facebook, I'd join a group, and within that group, I'd search the question in the search bar um, where they would be asking for what I provided in the events sector. And then I would just drop them a line and say, hi, I'm Darren, I'm here. Um, this is my website. Uh, feel free to contact me if you wish. I bet that was a really cost-effective way of acquiring new leads. You know, that's one of the fastest and most cost-effective ways. Of, I mean, your lead, uh, the, the cost per acquisition is going to be massively reduced doing this, isn't it? You, you're going to see a uh, a good immediate success, but also it's free. So, yeah, uh, yeah, it's such an easy way for small business owners to find to find new business. One one hundred percent. I was a new business with um, no capital, so I, I needed to make something work, mm -hmm. and that was one of the ideas that I came up with. The next one was Hitch. That's why Hitch is on the list because again, uh, for for events, weddings, they were asking for my services through there. So just just on the Facebook groups thing, um, you know, so you're saying go to Facebook. Um, yeah. how, how would I find a group again? What would I do? Search, go to search bar. Yeah, go into the search bar, um, and you would join. For instance, mine was events. The wedding sector was what I was going after. What was so I joined. Search? Yeah, so in the search bar at the top, and I just typed wedding groups, um, and then you would see there's groups there. They've got thousands of people within that. The ones that have got thousands, get on them. Like literally today, just get on them um, and and add content, um, add value, a bit like we're doing today. Do the same in that group. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so so though that, that's a really uh, important one that we we often see overlooked. And Quora is a good one as well, as we said. Uh, Facebook groups, it's all it's all easy to do. It's all free, uh, and it will get you more leads. It will get you more business. Um, so. It might be that you choose to do that in in a quieter time, say for example over over in the December period. Um, so, just wanted to put a list on the screen here because we get a lot of people asking us, well, where where else would you recommend um, we 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 consider? You know, we've got the obvious ones: social media, YouTube. Um, 
content marketing is 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 where you're you know you're writing these blogs or you're writing articles and you're trying to get them um found elsewhere so you could maybe reach out to a um even a local newspaper digital digital newspaper get it found on their on their newspaper um websites and you're writing blogs um display ads is when you see the big banners when you see banners at the top of a website so for example you might go to um Dar- i know g- give me a good one down a good website where you see banners all the time i see them on daily yahoo Day. yahoo that's it that telegraph the yahoo you know all those kind of newspaper or even search engines yeah um i think even uh, uh bing has some but the, you know display ads are really good way of building your brand getting brand awareness out there just re- repetition of your logo and your brand um groups seo ppc email marketing text darren you mentioned text as well at the bottom here what was the reason for that yeah text message um it's, it's you know for me now text message is a real way for me to make an impulsive purchase i'll give you an example again um unfortunately i uh, i'm a sucker for a papa john's and they'll send me a text on a monday night and they know i don't want to cook well, I think they know that, and oh, I always purchase. So, yeah, yeah, and that's you know an everyday um, relatable story. But the these things, you know, text for we've got, for example, Let's Rock uh, is a company that put their name forward for this for this webinar. And um, if you're in here, hello. But we were looking at your website just before. Um, text would even work for you guys. You know, you sell. Um, rock, right? It's it's from Brighton, isn't it, Darren? I think it's no, no, no. It's uh, Blackpool. Blackpool. Um, and I think, and I think, if I'm right, I think ninety five. I, I want to confirm this. Ninety five percent of sticker rock that's made is actually from Blackpool. Uh, okay. So would text work for that kind of business? I'm just trying to think of different different businesses that how text could work for uh, for those guys. I mean, you could do sales and offers. Yeah, if it, if, especially if you're going after corporate companies and you've done work for corporate companies and they're on your text list and you know that we've got Christmas coming up, there's going to be events that are coming up. Um, would that be a nice to have at whichever event you're actually attending? Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Or, or, or a present. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, and there's one well, there's one platform that I didn't mention here, but it's linked to – it is linked to PPC. Um and it is, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to disappear. I don't know why the animation is going so, so it's remarketing. Remarketing is when someone goes to your website and visits your website and has a look around and then they leave. And what a remarketing ad does is it retargets that person that's left your website because over 90% of people go to your website and don't do anything. Okay. They don't book, they don't ring, they don't uh, fill out a form. That's over 90%. And so remarketing is a really good way of retargeting those people. Um, And you've probably all seen it yourselves. You know, for example, shoes, you're looking at a website, you've seen a pair of shoes that you like. We don't go ahead and buy them on that first visit. So those first visits don't usually result in a purchase or a booking or a phone call. So that's why remarketing is so useful because it can, remind someone of your brand and uh, and even what they were looking at on your website. Um, a really nice addition to the multi-channel approach. However, so what I want to do is we want to have Darren Dale uh, work for you. And uh, what I want you to think about now is Darren Dale is, is literally working for you here. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to come off here, Darren, and we're going to go to the chat. And uh, first and foremost, Debbie has, um, has requested to chat. Uh, come on the webinar. So Debbie, if you're still around, I'm going to accept it now and let's see if you can join us on the webinar before we go to the chat room. So uh, Debbie said she wanted to join us on the webinar. So we'll see what happens here. I've requested that, accepted that, and uh, she may join. But looking at the chat, um, so yeah, Flickr, TikTok, Snapchat, some really good um, ideas coming in here. Uh, mm-hmm. Apple Podcasts. Wow, well, yeah, we we haven't mentioned Apple Podcasts because I think typically SMBs uh, find it, you know, that's maybe a step um, further in, in the sort of, you know, it's going to take you a lot of time to get that set up, but we would always recommend reaching out as far as you can go. Facebook, LinkedIn, of course, yeah. So, Graham, you've put your URL in here. Um, now, Debbie, I don't know if you've accepted it. Um, you might want to request it again, Debbie. Click If anyone wants to join the webinar, click the speak button. There's a speak button in your options, and you can join us. And whilst we're waiting on that, we're going to go to Graham Taylor and Gravers. Darren, you're familiar with this one. Yeah. 
think I think you've um, spoken to uh, spoken to Graham before. Um, keep an eye, Darren, if you can. Keep an eye on the uh, speak. Let me know if someone requests to speak. Yeah, I was just looking at the chat and I just wanted to elaborate on the TikTok one a little bit as well, actually. I think that's fantastic if you are interacting with that. TikTok's really on the up. Um, and it's good for making micro videos for your business as well, which, again, is free. So play about with it. I've done that before as well. Um, so if I can do it, you can do it. Exactly, exactly. TikTok is uh, a new way of, of obviously advertising. Uh, we have got a webinar coming up about TikTok and some of the forms of advertising through social media. But just looking at this, Darren, um, this is Graham's, yeah. uh, Graham's website. Let me just check. There we go. It's all working. So Graham's um, asking us to look at his multi-channel marketing. Um, so we'll, well, we'll look at that first. Darren, you're working for Graham. What would you want to look at first? Uh, so I'd want to look at what he's got, first of all. So no. Graham's got a website. Um, what what is Graham doing with that website currently at the minute? Uh, where what, what is he using? I believe he's got his social media links on here. So I know he's using LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, I wonder if he's using any of the, um, the 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 sites like Amazon or because Amazon for, for well, not for engravers actually, but I believe that you do trophies as well. Mm -hmm. and medals yeah absolutely amazon um when you say amazon can you elaborate on that what would you recommend yeah so so amazon what you could do is you could take your actual product itself and you could um open up a business account on amazon and you could start selling through amazon um and i think what amazon's done really well uh, without promoting amazon they've made it very easy for customers to purchase it's literally one click and it's bought uh, the product is bought um be interested, Matt, if you could go to Google and just have a look at um, trophies, sports trophies in particular. Uh, what, just search for it on Google? Please. Yes, yeah. please. Okay. So we've obviously got people here that are using the Google ads at the top. Yeah. So you could do that. Um, that would be good. And then if we look down, I'm wondering, I was expecting to see Amazon on here. Yeah, well, you will. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if we click onto Amazon now. And you've got eBay as well. eBay is another one as well. Now, Graham, I know that you were selling clothes through eBay, I believe. Sports clothes. Mm -hmm. um, so again, Amazon's pretty similar uh, in the way that it works. Yeah, really good, uh, really, uh, you know, easy way to get a shop and sell products from a shop. I mean, I'm just also looking at the, uh, has Graham got a blog as well? Uh, because I've noticed there's a lot of questions coming up on Google. Um, you see here where you've got, um, I mean, you know, you, you, we could be a bit more specific here. Um, how to get a trophy in, um, engraved, you know, how, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And that's where the blog would become relevant. So if you've, Obviously, done above on that. The, the chances are that that would be pulled up. Yeah, yeah. So that's what would happen. Is um, there'll be some questions: how to engrave a trophy, um, and this Graham is a YouTube video. Yeah, um, brilliant. And so that's what we're saying: is people will be, you know, these are the ads. But look at the, the top of the Google. Basically, is this, and it would be very. I think it'd be quite easy, Darren, to have. Graham, you know, he could do a video, he could write a blog, and he would start to appear in these kind of results. Because people, there's a reason why Google have these results at the top of the page, because they know they get tons and tons of engagement. This is what people are clicking on now, guys. So, Dan, what would you, what would you say to that? Yeah, 100%. And in, in, in fairness, that's where you could use TikTok as well to do a short video. If you were unsure about how to create a video, then TikTok's perfect for that. Um, and you could go through that and then you could obviously hit that onto TikTok and at the same time you can hit that onto YouTube too. I think that'd be a very good idea. Definitely, definitely. So um, so what we're saying is uh, in terms of he's got Facebook set up, we've got social media, it looks like I, I presume it's, you know, uh, Graham, you, you're keeping those up to date because we've seen a few today that weren't up to date. So just keep posting once a week if you can on those socials. Um, I would be looking at YouTube for you because you've got a very visual product, Graham. You know, there's, 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 so look at, you know, you've got the, you've got the trophies here and uh, you could actually, you actually have videos of you engraving, actually doing it within the workshop. Um, and then you could post that to YouTube and then have that on a blog. And this, 
that wouldn't take you too long. Darren, is there anything else you'd recommend though? Because obviously he's got a good shop going on here. We've talked about Amazon, eBay. Um, yeah, because the trophies, they're not, they're not really expensive. And also maybe have a look at Etsy as well, which is for handmade products yeah. um, or, or, or anything like this. And um, Etsy is another thing that I've actually used myself personally and, and sold through Etsy. Um, and the fees are very small as well and it's it's a very good platform to use if you, anybody in this uh this forum today uh, or webinar uh do have a product that you, you make or, or or like grams have a look at etsy yeah definitely definitely Graham, um a, along with darren's recommendation there um i think that's you know top-notch uh, advice i would say that um with your menu and your website. So just going away from multi-channel marketing, we do want to put a bit of audit, website audits into these conversations as well. Um, you've got services and you've got shop online here, Graham. Um, I would recommend you change services to about or about us because that's confusing to have shop online and then services because now I don't know which one to click uh, because I know that I want a trophy, so do I go to services to get that? And so think about this, if people make that one click and end up on the wrong page, I know you've got a button there saying shop now, um, but this, I, I, I just think that what you're doing here is talking about the business. Um, I get that you're talking about what you do, but having those two menu items there, it's a bit confusing because it's it's almost saying, right, I, I'm ready to buy from you, Graham. I want, I want to get your product, your service. Um, but which one do I go to? Um, you remember, make your menu as clean and simple and refined as possible. So I would change that to about us. And then you've got a really clear, very clear menu there. Um, yeah, sorry, Darren. Yeah, so besides obviously the advertising aspect as well, I think that for, for Graham to, to move forward on the internet, I think what, what we should be looking at as well is your reviews. And I would, as a shop, not just focus my reviews in one area on Google because, again, you don't know where your consumer is coming from. You need to make sure that your customers review you on uh, Facebook, um, eBay. If you're on eBay and you've got an eBay shop, make sure that there's people leaving feedback there. Etsy as well, again, um, we all know if we go onto an ad and, and there's multiple ads, we've done it on Amazon, um, you will always tend to go with the one that's got the, the, the thousands of reviews i'm not expecting you to get thousands of reviews but just understand the power of reviews um so really start collecting reviews if you can um particularly if you've got a shop absolutely absolutely uh, social proofing but i do see debbie here as well so hi debbie can you hear us oh hi yeah hi hello, hello debbie Hi. We, well, we can't see you, but that's okay. Don't worry. But you know, feel if you want. I don't know if that was intentional. No, I'm here. Hi. So, here. fire away, De Debbie. We're we're here to help. Um, and so we want to know what channels you're appearing. You know, what are you doing with your multi-channel marketing, and uh, and what's your website address as well? Go for it. Not much. So my website address is. Um... Uh, buzz-smp.co.uk um, no that's my email address um, see I'm so useless sorry no you're not, no, you're, not. <laughs> you're on the spot don't yeah. worry <laughs> so my website address is um... Hold on a I'll tell you what Debbie yeah. what's your business yeah. name it's Buzz oh just Buzz yeah. whereabouts, whereabouts are you based um, it, I'm based in Surrey and I've just started this, but I've had my website with you for a while, but I haven't actually, I'm a hairdresser and I've been really busy hairdressing, so not concentrating on this at all. So, um, that's okay. Well, uh, so this is a good one, Debbie. Well, you, set, you set up my website for me. Yeah. And, okay. um, it's Scout Micropigmentation. Uh, I don't, I don't well, it's SM, I've got it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's so I'm, I've just, um, sent off some photos to you this morning to try and update my website because I had a treatment room in um, Dante's, but uh, because of social distancing, obviously I couldn't work from there anymore. So I've just set up a, um, a treatment room at home. So I'm fully licensed now at home and got my um, my license to practice in Surrey where, where it was in uh, Woking before. So I'm just really, really new to social media. I'm absolutely useless. I literally, um, it's taken me ages to work out 
even how to adapt my website but I don't seem to have the icons on my website that's it so I'm going to look at your social media first before we go to the website because um, my social media is hideous well, um, because I actually I really don't even understand how to do it but I'm googling everything and learning and this is all part of my learning yeah but you're trying and that's, yeah. that's the main thing okay so all you can do is try and, and eventually it'll fall into place and it, you know I say this to everyone at the end of the day anyone that's part of this group here today you started a business you you were able to change whatever you were doing and create a business from nothing and if you can do that then you can learn social media i promise you that that's what i thought because hairdressing i've had my own hairdressing salon and then i i had children i worked from home um and this is a new thing i didn't even know about this treatment like a few years ago mm -hmm. so i sent myself on a course and i practice all the time but with hairdressing because i've been doing it for 35 years I've got lots of hairdressing clients. I've never had to post anything or use social media. I've never posted it before and after per photo. But with this, it's completely different. You know, I'm starting up a business from scratch um, and I can do the actual work, but promoting myself and getting myself known is something that I just don't know how to do. So, Darren, I, I would recommend um, social media. I, d I don't know about you, but I'll let you kind of answer that. I, I think Instagram is, is is definitely, you know, Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. It's way. difficult, though, because because I'm not actually haven't got any clients. I have actually got one client I'm doing at the moment. It's hard to be posting things, whereas other people that are doing this, they're posting their work all the time. But I'm literally starting from scratch. And these are kind of like my models. I've, I've actually only done one full paying client that I'm doing at the moment. Well, I was, Darren, just before I was going to say, the first thing you need to do, Debbie, is have you got a Google My Business listing for the for the company? Um, a Google My I Business. Is, I don't think so. Well, that's something you definitely need because um, because if you have a look at this, I went. Um, the first thing I did is, you know, I, obviously it's the wrong search to do, but um, Buzz Hairdressing. So notice this company on the right hand side, Taylor Taylor Hairdresser. This is obviously isn't your company, but yeah. these, guys, these guys are coming up when I'm typing that search into Google. I might not be the only person that ever types that search. So that's a danger that that, that someone else is coming. This is a Google My Business listing, and um, it's free to set up. All you do is yeah. you go to Google, make sure you're on Google, signed in. And at the top of Google, in the dots just at the top right, um, and you can click on that and then go to Google My Business. And if you click on Google My Business, you can then um, set up a, a a listing basically for your business. It's really easy to do, and you can add photos, you can add a description, and that will really get you a lot more exposure straight away. And you'll speak that through the numbers. Um, Darren, moving on to the Instagram though and Facebook, what would you? Yeah, right. Okay, so Debbie. Um, yeah. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hello. When you started, was there anybody yeah. else that you were aware of similar to you in this industry? Absolutely no one, um, apart from one company in Birmingham, which is why I went there to do my training. But since then, um, Luke and his, uh, Luke and Griffiths is churning out so many people. And his the part of the um, package was for him to like show you how to set up a business, but he didn't. So I've got all my license and I've done all that myself. And then you kindly did my website. Yeah. Um, but there are people that are popping up now because it, it was just such a strange thing to do. Um, and I think the more people that do it, the more the better it will be because a lot more people will know about it and feel comfortable about having it done. Awareness. So you understand the more people yeah. that start up, it actually it, it, it creates a good situation for you because the awareness comes stronger of the actual products that you're delivering. Yeah. Good. Yeah. No, no, no. That's good. Um, so the, the, the original company were meant to help you to have mm -hmm. without you actually even realising. I would go and search for them online today. Use that yeah. company. Um, do you, can we mention the company's name in, in this? Yeah, it's LGS. LGS, so yeah. if we went to Google. Yeah, LGS. They've already set the blueprint. Um, what, are we, Birmingham. what are we searching? LGS. Oh, got, they've actually got one in London now as well. All right, okay, good, great. So LGS, um, S, is it SNP? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. There's your blueprint. So they've got the Google My Business listing. Um, if, uh, if we just go to their website. Um, so Dan, what you're saying is basically uh, 
copy um take what they're doing and uh don't, don't take it, it, everything literally um but but certainly the one thing that you should be doing is looking at what your competitors are doing other people that you're looking to emulate other people that should have helped you in the first place um and just just don't i'm not saying steal but yeah but take their ideas and what i want you to take notice of when you go onto their instagram debbie yeah if you click onto their pictures yeah this is important that. I won't be able to on this, Darren, because it's not logged okay. in. But yeah. Okay, fine. So I do actually. Um, I clicked on that and liked it, and I always kind of like like and share things that they've done. Yeah, great. Hashtag. Do you know what I would do? That's exactly it, Matt. So I would look at the hashtags that they're doing now. Normally, when someone's got a really good strategy on Instagram, they'll repeat the same hashtags in every post that they do. Mm -hmm. Um, Debbie, have you ever been onto Instagram and searched a hashtag in the search bar before? Um, I have done a few posts on Instagram ages ago, but I know it sounds really ridiculous. It's my menopausal brain. I've actually forgotten how to do it, but I will Google it today and yeah. teach myself how to go on Instagram again. The, the, the one thing, Debbie, that I, I actually said this in a webinar last year was that the, the way that I found, find new businesses, local businesses, um, you know, I actually found, uh, not that I need it, but there was like an ear clinic, I think, in where in the town where, and it looked really cool. I was like, oh, I didn't realize they were down the road, actually. And I found them on Instagram, and I find coffee shops, I find clothes shops. You know, you find all these different. The way I find businesses is mostly on Instagram, mostly because they're using this one hashtag, um, and it's using the town. So let's say, for example, Leeds Indies. So mm -hmm. they're using that hashtag. So every picture that they're putting up, all of these companies in the town uh, where I'm based, they're, they're, they're using the same hashtag. Um, in fact, everyone knows it's, 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 it's Leeds, Harrogate, sort of these different hashtags. So, for example, you, where, where about what town are you in? Um, I'm in Cobham, in Surrey. Cobham, I mean, you could even use. So, what you want to be doing is finding the hashtag that people are using in your area, um, or even Surrey, or even the what, like I said, what Dan said. Let's have a look at these photos, see which hashtags they're using and copy that. Use yeah. the same hashtags, Debbie, because if you can, um, you will get found via hashtags, basically. Uh, like I say, I'm, I'm finding new businesses because they're using the, you know, the town indies hashtag. Like yeah. and, and then I, I'm following that hashtag on Instagram. People literally follow hashtags, not just accounts. Um, and okay. so then all of the posts that are coming up under that hashtag then come onto my onto my news feed on my Instagram. Um, so yeah, getting the right hashtags is 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 important. Um, obviously, you, you what you're wanting is to build an audience essentially. So first thing, mm -hmm. definitely get a Google My Business listen. You you definitely need GMB Google My Business. Um, You've got a, a reasonably good website. It's actually a pretty good website. You've got SEO on your website as well, and you've got FAQs, which is really good. Um, have you got any reviews? Because, um, you know, that's that's one thing I noticed with missing. Any customer reviews? Or I've only got one customer review. Okay. Um, but the guy that I'm working on at the moment, he said he'd do my review. You absolutely need to, Yeah, you need to get that on your website, even if it was just one, one review. Um, yeah. So, for example... Um, let me show you how uh, how I do it. We designed a website. Um, I'm not. I can't even type when I'm on this webinar. Let me show you a quick website, and I'll show you how we styled one review for a customer. Um, I'll do it. I'll do it. London City Skin. UK, I don't know. This is a good one, though, in terms of styling. Um, so let me just load this website up. And you need to put this on your uh, website further down. So this, I mean, this isn't, this is a quote, but this is the same thing, basically. Have your uh, testimonial styled like this, where it's a big section. Mm -hmm. let, it, let it breathe. So you've got um, spacing at the top and bottom and just have it like this with, with a simple quote. And you can have that client's name. And maybe if you, if you can get the picture of the client, that would be even better. Yeah. But, so definitely on it, that would massively improve conversion rates because that's the worry for me is that people will be looking at this and the first thing that people want to know is who else has used you yeah who else has who else has had this treatment from you um because you know otherwise they don't, they're not going to trust you and they're not going to trust the business so you need to give confidence that other people have used you so that's something you need to work on um definitely just a couple of things there as well debbie um you could look at the pictures, the people that have liked their pictures mm -hmm. and you can start following them. Okay, so don't be afraid to be the first person that reaches out because yeah. um, Matt pointed out earlier, and I think we're all probably like this, we don't purchase first time round. 
Yeah. Yeah. So you might have um, a potential client like that picture there, and it's just about you making that step forward first yeah. and saying, "Hi, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. I'm in Surrey. I'm not in Birmingham." Oh, yeah, oh. just, just, just that's it. Just go onto these pictures, look at who's liked the pictures, and follow them, Debbie. Yeah, that would be a re, you know a quick win. It's just to follow. Oh, so follow the follow the follow the people that have liked the pictures. Yeah, yeah. or even or even if there's a um, another company that are close to you, like London. London's yeah. close enough. Uh, you go onto their followers and you start following their followers. So, not. Oh. No, I wouldn't necessarily do it with this company because they've got 40,000 followers. You'll be there all day, but you'll have ones that'll have 500. And then that's how you start building up uh, your Instagram page. You, you can you can start with the people that are just like, just the ones that are engaging. You don't want to be following the 40,000, but just the people that are actually engaging recently in some of these photos. Yeah. But also go to your competition, like Darren said, yeah, go to your competition and follow some of their people as well. Um, that's a great way of just building up you know awareness as well um and 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 then what i would start to think about debbie if you do have a bit of a budget i would start to think about display ads so you know getting like a banner um that's uh, on a relevant website so i'm sure there'll be websites that people go to in your in, in, in this industry um so for example you know it's um yeah, it's obviously to, to do with hair and etc i'm sure there'll be websites that men and women go to and and yeah. If we can get a banner, if, someone, if you can get a banner on that website, that would really build awareness and um, and get you noticed. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's one good way of starting to get your brand built. Um, so, um, yeah, I think... Yeah, I just ask, with my website, if you go to the gallery yeah. um, and click on it, this photo here, I couldn't get that backdrop taken off. I don't know why, but I've got a friend coming over who's going to try and help me. But on the... Um, when I went onto uh, the website to change it, I haven't got all the icons on the left. I've only got three icons, so I couldn't add any photos because I've got some more photos to add now. But this this is actually not scalp pigmentation. It's a hair transplant. Ah, uh, okay. So I don't know how to take it off. Well, um, give us a call, um, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Honestly, um, uh, we, well, we we can help you. Um, I'll get. Uh, we haven't got your details, contact details. If you'd like, if you just uh, give us a call or, or fill out the form okay. on our website. I emailed this morning to the right. Hopefully, to the right place. So I'll just hopefully they'll. Um, yeah, we can contact me. We can sort that for you quickly. Okay. It, won't, it won't be a problem. That's that's easy. Um, but yeah, I think Debbie. This, you know, it's obviously a new um vertical for us i think we need to you know we need to research where people go where people research before they make these kind of decisions to you know what kind of websites do people look at um and i would be really considering like targeting audiences so you know, all you need is if you can put together a little budget i'm only saying you know you can do this yourself as well you know a couple of hundred pounds and what you can start to do is target audiences so you can um you can target people who are who have that intent um, for this process, you know, they're already thinking about they're yeah. going to Google, researching about it, or they're on their social platforms, they're looking and reading. I think her Facebook ad is a good thing to do. It is, it is, uh, but you can go one step further now with, with you can do through Microsoft ads, you can go LinkedIn ads, there's all these kind of audience targeting things, but a Facebook ad is a very good starting point. Yeah, it's just it's quite broad Facebook ads. You know, you might be reaching people that are not necessarily interested, yeah. but there's, 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 there's good ways of targeting audiences, definitely. And uh, yeah, audience targeting, essentially. Are you, are you on TikTok, Debbie? No, I wouldn't even know how to get on TikTok. All right. Okay. So TikTok would be um, a great way for you to do before and afters as well. And then you could integrate integrate that into YouTube and integrate that into Instagram. And then if you did decide that you wanted to do some ads on Instagram and Facebook, then they would land at a page and see a quick before and after. Oh, um, okay. And that would be really good. Again, look, you've got the capability to be able to learn this. Look at what you've done so mm -hmm. far. I couldn't do what you do. Um, make make do sure you're... Working. Keep it up to date, though, Debbie. Make sure you, you know, keep these. Yeah, I am. I've um, I've got a friend coming round on Saturday because I yeah. just thought, is it me just being stupid and not being able to do it? So I did change a few things yeah. um, on there on Saturday. Um, but hopefully, if um, if you can't add the photos, hopefully my friend will be able to do it with me on um, Saturday. But all these TikTok and things, I'm literally going to Google them and just learn them. <laughs> Good yeah. YouTube. I've yeah. been so busy trying to catch up with the hairdressing, um, and I started doing care work 
in lockdown I've sort of like it's all sort of like crossing over but I'm stopping care work now to concentrate on this and hairdressing. Is there any, um, is there any younger members of the family or, or not? Or... But the, that's the problem my son's at uni my son's 28 he's, um, he's moved out and then my daughter is 25 and um, see that I they've always done everything like that for me and they're not even here to ask but um so i need to learn how to do it myself really yeah awesome they they would definitely help definitely yeah, definitely definitely so um research yeah where are people looking where are people uh, researching online for, for your type of business um um Debbie and, and you know where how can you get in front of those people what, yeah. what where are they what kind of websites are they looking at um but you need to be known in your area and just you know then expand you need to be the expert. There is actually somebody else doing it in Cobham, but she does a lot of Botox and beauty. Yeah, and, um, yeah. yeah. It's all about getting you, it's all about people knowing that you're you're the person that does this. It's that one specific thing. And so if you can get some really good photos of before and afters, mm -hmm. yeah, and just start to build that locally. Um, That's what I was going to try and do today, do um, a, a Facebook ad, and there's a local Cobham Mummy's site that's the other person advertised, and she said, oh, I'll dear me, and she it looks like she's got quite a lot of interest. Definitely. So I was going to post today. And also on a, we've got a, a, a na like a local um neighborhood website uh, called next door i was going to advertise on there yes oh yeah and, and all these forums that we mentioned you know mm -hmm. make sure you go to uh, cure cure is it darren is that how you Quora. Quora, Quora, yeah. Facebook be... groups, uh, answer questions debbie just spend time you yeah. know researching type into google people are searching how do i cure or how do i fix you know you know etc et so go and type those questions into google and look what comes up go into those groups go into those forums and websites and start to interact with people yeah focus on the brand first before you start focusing on trying to spend okay so get your brand looking on point first and then maybe go and do some facebook ads that's what i would do yeah that's why i wanted to add those photos to my website so it looks yeah. like i've you know, and, got and, more people. And get that review, get that review on the website if you can. Mm -hmm. Um and we can we can do that for you as well, Debbie. Because you've come on the webinar, um, mm -hmm. we'll do that. We're, if you want us to add that review to your website, we'll do that for free, no problem. Um, we'll add a new section to your website for you. Um so thank you so much though for coming on the webinar. Yeah. Really appreciate that, Debbie. And we'll yeah, love to help you out more. Give us a call, we'll we'll, we'll help you out. Let's oh, thank you. I'm gonna spend at least an hour a day just learning stuff and um you know. Good. Good. Well, good luck with it anyway. Thank you very much. You've been great help. Thank you. Cheers, Debbie. Bye. Bye. Um, also, um, before we've got uh, Clifton. Uh, da, 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 there's so many people in this webinar. <laughs> Clifton Hotel, Pinton. Yeah. I, so we've got the Clifton Hotel. And Darren, what I want to do is just have a look at this one. Can you yeah. see my screen? Is that okay? Yeah, I can, yeah. Great. All right. So let's have a quick look at this because um, I think it's Frida. I might be wrong. So many names buzzing around on my screen at the moment, guys. So looking at this one, um, this is uh, one that we've seen before, Darren. Uh, let's have a quick look at what they, what else they could be doing. Um, you tell me where you want to go. So, Yeah, right. Okay. So again, um, with this particular industry, the first thing that you need to be focused on is your reviews. Okay. So that'll be the decision between somebody booking and not. So straight away, straight onto Google, TripAdvisor, um, you Google My Business. Um, again, if you are using the booking agents like your booking.com, hotels, um, what are the other booking agents that we've got? Um, Airbnb, you could be on that as well because you can actually put a hotel on there now too. Um, you need to look at how you look on there uh, and then come back and have a look at what your reviews are like on Google. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So as we all know, TripAdvisor is the number one place that people will go first of all. But I, I'm going to assume that that's covered and looking OK. Um, in terms of Google there, we noticed there was a GMB. There's some nice photos. Well done, Frida. 21 brilliant reviews there, it looks like. Yep, 21 really good reviews. Let me just look at this. It's, uh, let me just see if, how many photos there are on this. Because um, I noticed this is the peer. Um, uh, may, okay, maybe I won't be able to do. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. There's lots of good photos. Lots of nice photos there. It, it, loving it. So that's really good. Let's get rid of the the other links that we had open there. Okay. So in terms of the website um, and other platforms, so social media. Uh, so we've got Facebook, but there's no Instagram. 
or Instagram. I don't know if Darren's still there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah awesome. we, need, we, we absolutely need Instagram. So, yeah, Instagram's essential, guys. So um, that needs to be on there. And um, if, if, you know, just pictures of the local area. If, you know, we obviously can't post pictures of the hotel all the time, the bed and breakfast, sorry. Um, so I get that. But um, your food looks looks really nice. Um, you could really make a big thing of that because that's uh, food is a very visual thing. And... Um, you know, lots of people will, will, will just want to come for that even. So let's talk about the home-cooked food. Um, where do you get the, the the food from, the sausages, you know, the catering, etc. So, you know, get all this on Instagram, get photos going. Um, I just want to pick up a bit on the website. Um, welcome to the Clifton, Peyton, better for it's wonderful. Yeah, nice little, nice little uh, bit of content here. I think this has been improved since last time I saw it. So really good bit of content there. Um, design, design wise, yeah, it's italics. I'm not a fan of italics, so I, I, I lose the italics from any of your content because I noticed across the website there's no other italics going on there. So, yeah, lose the italics if you can. Um, that's the only thing that slightly cheapens a brand is when, when, and so, yeah, there we go. It's not, it's, um, it's not using italics on the other pages. So just uh, watch out for that on the homepage. Darren, anything else you want to pick up? Quickly? Yeah, so just on the website itself, I can see that Frida's doing a uh, blog. So that's brilliant. Um, and what I tend to advise um, people, like hoteliers like Frida, is I would say, if you could scroll down uh, there, Matt, please. Yeah, um, yeah so she's uh, created blogs about... Bookfast Abbey, for instance, so people would search accommodation near Bookfast Abbey. Um, and again, if you're making blogs about that, then the chances are that your blog would come up on that too and on, appear on Bookfast Abbey when people are searching for that. Uh, local activities, what's going on? Uh, if you've got events that would happen, and I guess paint some wood because it's a, a popular seaside resort down in Devon, I believe. Um, yeah, so really, really good that you're doing that. Continue to build on that. You, you can't do enough. Um, the reviews, really, really good. Obviously, yeah. we know that from the, the first page. Matt, it'd be probably worthwhile even putting the Google reviews through this particular website. And I can see you've got your five-star hygiene report as well, which is awesome. Yeah, I, I feel like there's one thing missing from the homepage, um, Frida, isn't it? I, I, and it's the reviews. You know, you've got some amazing reviews. Um, and people really look at reviews before they make a decision. That is the make or break factor, along with the design of the website, like I've always said. But reviews, I, you should have some I, an icon at the top here, um, some kind of indication that you've got five-star reviews. Um, and uh, what, Darren, wasn't it all them jewelers that did that very thing, actually? Yeah. Um, yeah, your client was asking you for a bit of advice, and um, you recommended to put the uh, Google five star icon at the top of the website. And that's exactly what um, should be done here is TripAdvisor, Google, you need some uh, accreditations right mm. at the top. Right yeah, top. you've got three seconds, pretty much three to five seconds to attract somebody. Um, and again, what might be really important for you as well, Frida, um, I know that while I'm, I'm expecting that a lot of your bookings would come through the booking agents, unless you're not part of them. Um, and it's about attracting them to you as opposed to using them. So you do have people like me now that'll find somebody on booking.com and then come to your website. And what I'm looking for when I come to your website is the ability to book nice, easily, quick. And um, also maybe it's cheaper to book through you direct as well. And there's no harm in saying that. Definitely, absolutely. Good advice, Darren. And look, I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll uh, end it there. But I think this has worked really well. Darren's got a lot to say and a lot of advice to give and clearly lots of experience in this field. And I think I'd like to open it up. If anyone wants a audit, one-to-one -one audit with Darren, uh, obviously there's, there's no cost or anything. No, you know, it's none of that. It's just free advice, a bit of help from Darren. Just jump onto our website um, and uh, fill out the form on our website. If you want to do a specific one-to-one, -one, um, just go to our website and it's www.infoserve.com forward slash one two one and i'm going to put that at the top of the chat there um actually i think i've got too many put too many uh, dashes in there but it's infoserve.com forward slash one one if you want darren to do a quick audit with you because he's got tons of advice to give um 
I hope that's been useful. Um, we've run out of time. We'll be back next week. Um, I think I'll try and get Darren on again because it's really, really useful. Um, and there's a lot more we want to go through here. We've got Christmas coming up, so there's some essential advice that we need to give you guys in the lead up to Christmas. Um, Darren, thank you so much for your time there. Sorry it's overrun slightly. Thank you for everyone uh, who gave us their URLs, and especially Debbie, who came onto the webinar live. And I'd like to probably do that next week if anyone's up for that. Coming on to the webinar, joining us live, and we'll go through your website, go through your digital marketing. Darren, any closing comments? Oh, just uh, good luck, um, Debbie. Um, look, again, I just want to reiterate what I said earlier. You, you, you've, you've been, or oh, you've done well enough to start up a business initially. So you can learn this. Anybody that's part of this group, you can all learn this. It's, it's very easy. There's so many things out there now that we can utilize in order to learn what we need to, like YouTube. Uh, forums, everything. Um, please, if you need anything, please reach out to us. We're always willing to help. And thank you for being letting me be part of this today anyway. It's really good. No, it's our pleasure. Thank you, Darren. And thanks, everyone. And have a lovely day. And we'll see you next week, 11 a.m. next Wednesday. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Bye.